Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my sunroom here in East Tennessee. It is September, and as you see, my Neophenicia falcata is in full bloom. So beautiful. And I thought today I'd go over a care tutorial with you all. I've had this plant now for two years. I bought it from Hauserman, June of 2022, and it is September 2024. And when I bought this orchid, they said that it was about two years away from blooming, and they were right. When I bought it, it was this fan here. The larger fan was about almost as big as this. It was about an inch and a half tall, if you could imagine, about that size. And so you can see it has grown into a beautiful, proud, blooming size orchid now, and I just love it. Um, this reminds me of a bonsai. The foliage of this plant is spectacular, and indeed in Japan they say to enjoy these plants every day of the year because their foliage is unique and it's beautiful, and they don't just grow um, these plants for their blooms, even though they're charming. They say to enjoy the plant the whole year long. Let me give you a little bit of background on these plants. They're native to Japan, China, and Korea, and they were the first orchid ever to be grown as a house plant in Japan in the 1600s, and then only royalty owned them. They were highly coveted, and I can see why these little plants are truly spectacular. And let's talk about light and temperatures. I grow my Neo here in my sunroom. This is in an eastern facing window, but it's on a top shelf and it's shaded by the plants around it. So semi-shade is really what it likes. Um, I grow in my sunroom, which as you know, that's intermediate temperatures. It's usually between 72 to about 87 here in the summer and then in the winter it's a lot cooler than that it's anywhere between 65 to about 78 degrees Fahrenheit so I've read that you can actually get these down to the the 50s in the winter 50s Fahrenheit but it doesn't get that cold back here in my sunroom so it's more like room temps but in the summer it is it is very, very warm back here in my sunroom, and it likes that. And as far as humidity is concerned, I don't add any humidity in the summer at all back here, or I would probably have mold issues. Uh, during the winter, the really cold part of the winter, I might add a little bit of humidity, but this one just gets regular room-type humidity. I don't do anything to increase the humidity around this plant whatsoever, and it just doesn't seem to mind. I've never seen an orchid that doesn't like humidity, which I'm sure it would like it fine, but I don't actually add humidity to this room. And the watering with these is what you really need to watch because the weak part of this plant is the roots. If the roots stay too wet in the winter while it's cool, they can rot. But in the summer, you need to water them so that it will flower. So what I do is the growing season is May through September, and they like to be kept fairly moist. That is the reason why I'm growing mine in bark instead of moss. It's a little bit easier for me to, um, to gauge how much I'm watering something in bark than it is in moss, especially when they go through a dormant season. So they like to be kept fairly moist through their growing season, May through September. I don't let the bark dry out completely or it will cause them to not bloom. And their cooler season is October through April. So I water it less so the roots won't rot. So I go from watering this three or four times a week actually in the summertime so that it won't dry out to where I go four or five days, sometimes six days. Just don't let the roots go bone dry. 
Don't let the media become too dry. But winter is their rest time. That doesn't mean, though, that you don't water them at all. It just means you back off from watering and you back off from the fertilizing. The best time to repot neos is in March, just as they're coming out of their dormancy period. That's another important thing to remember. Um, it's easier to establish them in a pot in March than it is during their active growing season. And since I grow mine in bark, I fertilize every time I water in the summer at a dilute about 200 to 250 parts per million of MSU. That's quarter strength. Um, I found that if I don't fertilize them enough in the summer, the bottom leaves start turning yellow. So if you notice that your bottom leaves are turning yellow, you might want to increase the amount maybe to, I don't know, 220 to 250 parts per million. Um, I don't want to over fertilize it, but if you don't fertilize it enough during the active part of their growing season, they will start turning yellow on you, the same as all other vandaceous type orchids do. And then every, let's see, I will fertilize three times and then I'll run fresh RO water through the pot on that fourth watering. Um, that gets rid of any salt buildup that you might have in your pot. In the winter time, I only fertilize maybe once every two weeks. Uh, they don't require that much fertilizer, and it's down to like 200 to 220 parts per million in the winter time. I don't want to overdo it, but it's still the plant still needs maintenance. It still does need some fertilizer, just not as much as it does in the summertime. And for those of you who are very experienced with these, if you have anything to add, please leave a message in the comment section. I really like to keep my videos as open forums for everyone to learn from. Um, I was just thrilled when this one bloomed for the first time for me. And I don't know, I might be adding to my collection. Um, these are a lot of fun to grow. They're not hard at all. Um, just getting your watering schedule down is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. But just remember, you know, in the winter, it doesn't like to be cold and wet. You don't want cold, wet conditions for these or the roots will rot. And I want to thank everyone for watching. Thanks to all of my viewers, my subscribers, my members. I want to thank the Orchid Supply Store. They have sponsored my channel now for about two years and the Orchiata bark that I use, the New Zealand Spag Moss, the pots, some of the orchids that you see on my channel, they come from the Orchid Supply Store. And don't forget when you or order from the Orchid Supply Store to use my coupon code AMY for a 12% viewer's discount. And also you get free shipping in the United States. And before I end this video, I would love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. You all, make it a great day. We'll talk to you next time.